That one extra month we got to file our tax returns this year is now up. Today is the deadline, and I would say that the best way to file is to do it electronically. That way there is no controversies related to when your tax return was actually filed. The clock is ticking. If you're filing by old fashioned paper return, you better find a post office still open and needs to be postmarked by May 17th. If you're an e filer, you must hit the send key by the stroke of midnight. Finance expert and CPA Dan Geltrude with an important reminder while you can file form 4868 for an extension, that is not an extension to pay. If you owe money, it has to be paid by the deadline. Your tax return is due. If you don't have the funds to pay your tax bill, file your tax return anyway. It is a crime not to file your tax return. And there's more important items to remember this year. If you received unemployment benefits, the first $10,200 per person is tax free. Anything above that is taxed. Federal stimulus payments are not taxed. If you have not received your stimulus payment or child tax credit for the first several stimulus packages, you should claim it as a credit when you file your return. As for those work from home expenses, more likely than not, you're out of luck. So many people working from home, they want to be able to deduct those costs. They cannot if they are an employee of a company. You could only deduct those expenses if you are self-employed. Another incentive to file and file on time, the new one-time child tax credit under the Biden administration's coronavirus relief package will give families earning $150,000 and less $3,600 per child under the age of 6 and $3,000 for ages 6 to 17. Couples earning over that amount will get less per child. The first half will come in the form of monthly payments starting July 15, and the second half will be applied to your taxes next year. And if you've already filed your tax return this year, but you have not received your refund yet, you are not alone. That's because the IRS has had a large backlog, and that's due to staffing issues, the implementation of new tax codes, and of course, trying to get out those stimulus checks. From the east side, I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.